Back, it is to your favorite entertainment show with this duty time. Of course, I'm still your host with the most too much sauce on your screen. Your favorite boy, Ife Ulua or Shuke. And of course, man like Fearless is still in the building. Yay. And of course, Tabita <laughs> is still in the building, looking as gorgeous <laughs> as ever. And of course, we're moving on to the next story. And this one is on Inyanya, who has spoken out after he was called out for pushing a fan off the stage at an event in Oka, Anambra State. In the video that angered um, fans, the singer is seen performing on stage while the fan sprays money on him. Suddenly, Yanya pushes the fan and he falls off stage. The singer continues performing like nothing happened. Reacting to the backlash he received because of the push, Yanya explained that the fan was slapping him on the face with the money and he considered that disrespectful. I would have to. He wrote, but not when there's Naira issue. He wrote, the guy kept <laughs> slapping my face with the money and I tried to hold his head and he continued. First, no, no matter how much you're spraying, don't slap someone with it. That's disrespectful. But according to DSP Bright Edafe, who is the spokesman for the Delta State Police Command, the fan who was shoved off from the stage can get in Yaya arrested should he choose to file an official report. Normally, if that guy makes an official report, Yaya can be arrested for this. I come in peace, he said. Anyways, um, I want to take it from the angle of you shouldn't even be spraying money. Did you guys see the video? Did you see the video? Yeah, I did. Saw the video? Yeah, I did. What do you think of it? Let's start with you. Would, would you have pushed the guy if, from the way he was spraying Yanya? What would you have done? What would be your reaction? Yanya yeah, held the guys and they warned him. Obviously, there was an altercation. There was guys stop now, spray gently and all that. At that point, me probably, I am not a violent person, mm -hmm. so I probably would have called some of my guys to control so him or walk it. away from, you know, the thing. But, you know, in the heat of the moment, you never know what you do. You know, it's easy for all of us to yeah, sit at yeah, this yeah. table yeah. now yeah. and say, oh, yeah, we would have <laughs> taken it. But he gets one kind of slap if you don't touch mm -hmm. and we bear some. <laughs> I, 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 I agree slap. with that. There's yeah. a split yeah. second thing, like... If he mm. had given himself to time, he would have, yeah, yeah, would have him. done more yes. push him. But at that but, point, yes. you see, Nigerians, eh, in as much as many people, maybe in the Western world, they see our morning spring culture as very strange. Like, why, you, why, you, know, why are you spraying people <laughs> money and all that? But we don't see it as any, I mean, yeah. we like it. But do you know some people spray you money and at the same time, they are being condescending about it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fine, that's spending money, yeah. but they've been condescending. Yeah. I think that's what happened between Ian and the guy. So it was literally saying that me we get money, you they perform me. Kind of doing this for Take me. Nah. So it was, was that thing of yes, money, money. Yes, I'm yeah. doing this this for the money, but come on, we, we, Show some respect. I watched yeah. a video, a recent video of um, you know one of our greatest Fuji musicians performing, and I was really excited about that video because they had cartons, right? If you needed to spray, the money can't touch the floor, so the carton was just yeah, there. They had people, so they were spraying into the cartons into the carton. and that stuff works. like that. And I was like, okay, this is a good one. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's a good one. Jigga, yeah. like this is a good one. This is something that we should take up. It's yeah. not until we are slapping you know, the bacteria you are, you are pissing on my yeah. face by putting the money yeah. on. Yeah. Now putting it with slap. Maybe I'm looking for opportunities, you know. Yeah, to <laughs> slap <laughs> Yanya since. Yeah, but the angle now is that I really do not understand the statements that, you know, DSP. police, DSPs and spokespeople that's, of that's police harassment. They're so trying to drag it. Who, who, what is harassment? That's harassment. So you're not supposed to... Okay, so first of all, the guy too can be arrested for spraying money, which is against civilian rule yes. one well, it's not that ball. much of a deal really i don't think they it should is. be i don't think police should even be in the in the state i said i come or... in peace now he said he if said the he guy shouldn't have come at all. to you really shouldn't have come at all you we, know, we didn't need that we didn't need that suggestion it's not that it big of a deal. suggestion but well, i think yeah. our artist should also He's put the idea look at the bonner boy head. show to where bonner boy kicked the fan in the face that's harassment. So, but why is he planting the idea in the guy's head to get Nyanya arrested why is he planting the idea it was unnecessary well, I think our artists too can also do better, you know, in terms of how they handle their fans. I remember there was a time, okay, so me, I'm a big Whiskey fan, they will say I'm supporting Whiskey again. I remember there was a time when enemies, Whiskey bouncer, you know, pushed somebody off stage and Whiskey said, no, 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 that, why would you do that? And he brought the guy on stage to perform with him for a while. Do you understand? And I think, you know, 
that was cool. So some people don't condone violence. Someone like David O, who never does. You don't get like I've never seen David arouse a fan. Instead, he brings them on stage and has fun with them. And I think if these people are your fans, they are the ones buying the music. They are the ones listening to you. They are the one promoting you and giving you your international recognition. Treat them with respect as well. I think you know. But like we said in the split second, but until it better. Anyways, yes, we have another story, and this one is on Yeni Kuti, a prominent figure in Nigerian media and the daughter of the late Afrobeat superstar Fela Kuti, who has said that she does not view infidelity as a deal breaker in a marriage or relationship. The 61-year-old said during an interview with TVC that even if she found a spouse having an extramarital affair, she wouldn't break things off with him. She claimed that her mother stayed in a marriage despite the fact that her late father Fela had 27 wives. You know, I want to just start by saying <laughs> you cannot leave a country because it rains in that country. Yeah. Because every other country you go to, rain go fall. Do you understand? So it's not every country that rain will fall. Yeah? <laughs> it's not every country. <laughs> Tell me <laughs> one country that rain will fall. What country? Tell me one country. Mention one country. Sahara Desert rain will not fall inside Sahara Desert. It's real. Antarctica too. It's, it's so, no so ice everywhere. Eh, so rain no fall for there. It's ice nice. Temperature. Temperature. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Do Sahara. Let's do Sahara Desert. Oh yeah, Sahara Desert. Oh, yeah, Let's, oh, yeah, Sahara <laughs> Desert. Oh, yeah, Sahara Desert. It once in a while it must rain. Since Sahara. Are you joking? No, no, so are you telling me Antarctica. it never rains? That where there is no everywhere. It's not everywhere rain will fall. Rain must fall everywhere. <laughs> where that must change. There's climate everywhere. <laughs> Come it's on. Climate everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> are you saying, bro? <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> all right, so what's your take on this one? Like, um, okay, let's start with a woman on this one. Hmm. Like, is, is it a deal breaker for you, you know, to actually... Is it a deal breaker for your man to cheat? <laughs> First of all, me, I cannot take it. But I can't, I can't, you know, I can't be okay with the fact that um, my, my partner is having extramarital affairs like i can't not even in just normal relationship before even getting into marriage already is even a problem do you know what then i feel i feel like every man cheats even if you have no no wait wait, wait, wait. Let, 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 let me clear let me clear let me clear this i feel like even if you have a man that doesn't cheat yeah it's because he's great at hiding it from you what are yeah. you talking I'm about so yeah i, I feel I like i feel like i don't know if, because I've done maybe from personal analysis and analysis of people or maybe women that feel they have like great husbands or great boyfriends and everything. Mm -hmm. And things that you know that they don't know, but you can't tell them because it's not your place to tell them. I just feel it's really hard, if not impossible, to find a non-cheating man. Do you know, I would have probably mm -hmm. understood what you're saying now if you said, you know, cheating is not actually the sexual act of it mm -hmm. but there are things like emotional cheating i'm not the even things, saying about emotional cheating there are I mean, things like they go cheating. all the way general, all the way like, like the all the yards. way the whole, the whole night yards. bruh no. I, I feel like that's disrespectful think, to me as a man saying you because have i don't cheated. cheat what i'm married you have never cheated i'm married that's so, so the, i don't i don't it, think it doesn't it excuse you the, no you, you, it doesn't excuse you don't understand you're saying you're married that's oh that excludes you from cheating no, it's okay a so okay the moment i decided to say i do and say i'm going to be with one person mm -hmm. for the rest of my life it's all over i don't expect you to admit it though i'm t okay so i'm telling you from the bottom of my heart now that look from the day i said i do mm -hmm. I stopped cheating and I won't no, cheat. No, and I, I, from the moment I knew that this was the right person for me, mm -hmm. I stopped. Now I can flirt, I can, you know, I can, but I feel like what you should have said is the emotional cheating. I flirt, I play with a lot of women and it I doesn't think, excuse me from, you know, that, that's still cheating. That is me still cheating, which I'm also trying to stop. Mm -hmm. But you don't think going the whole night as there's no man that doesn't go to you. It's a yeah, lie now. It's not, it's not. I feel it's, it's a lie. No, you feel. So you're feeling because, no, 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 he no, said he feels. No, he's I'm excluding myself. myself. I'm not excluding myself. Okay, but I'm okay. like, oh, like oh, no. Man. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. 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 Tabita, Tabita. Yes. 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 Yes
No, I don't. I don't think. I think you're you're speaking from your own. I'm I think from my experience. I think he's trying to tell us that this is what he's doing. Yeah, I'm a real chick. Yeah, with your full chest. You know, you it doesn't. You know, it doesn't remove the fact that you love the person. You're like, I love. You can't love somebody and then do things. But it doesn't mean that you love the other person. I don't know. I think you're contradicting what you're saying. So you can't love somebody and yet you're still doing things that will hurt. No, 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 no. Cheating doesn't mean you don't you don't love that person. Excuse me. You're hurting that. But it doesn't mean you don't yep. love that person. For what I, I don't think it doesn't. It doesn't mean you don't well, love. Well, it that means person. you just. Yes. <laughs> it means see. It means you don't respect the person. You it means you're very disrespectful. Yeah, exactly. Man. And, what that and, 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 and what that translates into you don't love the person. is that you don't love the person. No. Yes. And it is you love somebody. disrespectful to cheat, but it doesn't mean you don't love the person. There's no form of accountability. Love is no love. That means you're accountable to the sex. So is sex the love? No. There are other things. With other ways, you show love. You're supposed to show love. So that sex part doesn't yeah, mean, so see, how do you you let me tell you something. You okay, what if I come back to show love? Okay, in a so how do you show love to someone you're cheating on? What, 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 are the, what are the measures? What are they the are the ones that will go and buy you big phone, sex big car. Yeah, they are the ones that take the car. They are the ones that take the car. Don't all men do that. Don't you get surprises and all that? Why do you think the random surprises happen? But you know that men that some some men like to do that. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes apologizing without apologizing. You you randomly take her shopping. You randomly buy. I don't think you should. I don't think you should accept that person. Tabitha, when next he takes you shopping, ask him. Ask. Have one to one with him. He's apologizing without apologizing. That's that's a, that's I, that's not true though, yeah. and I don't think you know we should generalize that because mm -hmm. I feel like there are a lot of faithful men out there. That a, are lot. a lot, a whole lot. A lot. Trust me, I can list wow. them for you. A whole lot. Even if it's two percent of our population, is it not a lot? Two percent is a lot. It's very plenty. Okay. And it can get better. <laughs> we can get. There are people that are changing. There are people that are taking well, me, you know, decisions. Like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be with everybody. Fearful. <laughs> <laughs> fearful. Thank you very much. Give me, give me his name. Shit. Give me fearful. his name his and name his fearful. social media. I'll send you receipts. We'll do that. All right. Please give it to him. Yeah. We'll okay. come He's back married. I, I was going to propose to you as well, but you're married, so propose to me. How? I'm going to I propose don't the same thing to you. I know right? yeah. no, your choice of words. Be careful. Which one you propose to me? You are going to propose to. Come on. You know one word has different meanings. No. Don't, don't no. Do don't propose. <laughs> You are a whole you mighty presenter. Fearless. Don't so, be that person. You know he's fearless, so we cannot know don't be what, that person. what he can do. What? Yeah. Oh, my, please, don't let us go there, please. Yes. I don't know the things you said don't do for money. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have money. You are broke. <laughs> Assume you accepted. Assume you accepted. Anyways, yes. The only one we will about Abdul Rashid that competed. This is our final story. Wonders how white people were able to convince Africans that polygamy is a sin while homosexuality is a uh, human right. In a post shared on his Instagram page, the monarch described this thought process as a big joke to the world. And I totally agree on this one. I think like we should start doing better. We should start, you know, just jump, jumping onto the Western trend every time. Time mm -hmm. and trying to follow, you know, it's like when you see our international artists and they they are wearing all the designers head to toe, and then you now see a Beyonce or a White, you know, performing Adele. When the Ankara, you now see it's cultural appropriation. Do you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. Saying that, but we are not appreciating our own, but we are taking theirs. Do you get what I mean? And mm -hmm. I think that you know, as Africans, as you know, Nigerians, we can do a whole lot better. I think he, I think he succeeded. <clears throat> in doing this that you just did. So <clears throat> in, in the process of, it's like you're, you're trying to justify something, then you distract people with something else. And, and uh, you know, homosexuality is the biggest thing to use to distract right Nigerians. Now, so the fact that he used homosexuality to distract Nigerians doesn't justify the polygamy. Polygamy is part of our culture justify. as Africans. Uh, well, well, I pick my cultures. I, I'm not just... I don't just swallow cultures. But I'm selective about um, cultures. Historically, that's what yeah. he's saying. Like, As based African. on history, uh, that's, that's, that has been the foundation that's, of that's African. That's the thing I'm saying. Yeah. I don't swallow culture just because I was born into it. I'm okay. selective about cultures. I'm just saying. Okay. So personally, I, I just, I, I'm not saying uh, polygamy is horrendous. I'm just saying that polygamy, come on. I think he's kind of saying that uh, the polygamy is better than you know, the homosexuality, like right now with the way it is. Exactly. I'd rather Trying have so many women around me mm. than have a man-to-man, -man, you know, affair and all of that. So mm. I think... So I he's think making you focus on the homosexuality and not the polygamy. Mm. It's... it's. Uh, 
I, I, I get what you're saying, Aisha. Aisha, I get what you're saying, but <laughs> it is our culture. It is our culture. Polygamy is part of So, how many do you? How many wives do you have right now? I knew he was coming for it. You know you already put Oh wow! I am yet to accept. Anyways, guys, we have to wrap up the show. I will respond to you on the next show. But this is where we draw the curtains today. But thanks for watching. As always, join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time. And remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes, including this very one, and all our exclusive content by doing what? Clicking that red bell on our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London on Ben Television and Star Time Channel 308. A big, big thank you goes out to man like Fearless, the... Cheating don't, don't do the cheating right. man. That yes. He has he has too many scenes on this table. I'm not even going to respond to that. And of course, the beta <laughs> for you know holding us down. <laughs> and of course, the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Ife Oshunkeye. Let's go.